Hello, my friends. Welcome to the What's of a Makeup Chat. It's so good to have you here. I really like doing these chats. These really are a lot of fun. So I'm happy to have you here today. I was thinking, I was looking through some posts on the Ipsy OS, which is the creator's um, little forum on Facebook that Ipsy has. Somebody was talking about the NYX Avant Pop palette. It's like, man, that is a really good palette. I have that palette. Why don't I ever use that palette? And I just, I just realized this. There's some products that I've been neglecting because I, you know, as a YouTube reviewer, makeup reviewer, I'm constantly buying like the newest and the latest, like hot item or whatever. And then I have to test it. So I spend a good week using the products that I've tested, you know, that I've bought, waiting for to be. Can I speak today? <laughs> I use the products that I bought for like that entire week, you know, trying to test it to wait for the review. So the products that I previously reviewed aren't getting used because I'm busy using the new products so that I can review them for the channel. So there's a lot of products that I have in my collection that, that are really great products, just haven't been using them lately. So since I haven't been talking about them and I do own them, I wanted to show them to you because some of them are available now, some of them aren't, but you might own them and realize, hey, I've been neglecting that product too, maybe I should break it out. So uh, yeah, so that's what we're gonna be talking about today. I've got a whole table full of stuff here uh, to chat about. So. But before we do, before we do, we're going to go ahead and say hello to the collective brain of Makeup Awesomeness, also known as the people who are here in the live chat. If you're watching this on the replay, you are also part of the collective brain of Makeup Awesomeness. We're going to learn from you by typing a comment down in the section below, in the comment section, uh, and telling us about some of the products that you love that maybe you haven't been using in a while for whatever reason, uh, so that we can learn some other products that are great that we should go out and purchase. So that's how the collective brain works. We all work together so that we can buy products that are awesome and stay away from products that are terrible. So we're going to be mostly talking about awesome products today. Let me go ahead and say hello to the people who are actually in the live chat because it's just nice to say hello. When you're in a room with people, it's just nice to say hello. So if you're in the room, but it's not live, go ahead and fast forward a little oh, bit. <laughs> fast forward a little bit uh, and then we'll get into the product review so let me go ahead and say hello to Michelle one of our reporters good morning Michelle good morning to Stephanie good morning let's see uh, Michelle says trying to finish up the news before the chat starts I know maybe I should make the news be a little bit later good morning to the gold digger good morning to Catherine Downing go check out her YouTube channel good morning Jenny Sue good morning Snape's honey Carolyn good morning uh, Tamara, I think I said that right. Tam, I think you told me to call you Tammy if I remember right. Good morning. She said, who else is drinking coffee? I'm drinking my coffee. I got my coffee. Good morning, Tabitha. How are you, my friend? Good to see you. Good morning, Nancy. Hi, Nancy. Good morning to Honeycone 111. Good morning, Abby, Denise, and Elise. You guys rhyme. Jenna, good morning. Crystal, I'm sorry, not Crystal. Cheryl, good morning. Uh, from Alabama, Arkansas. Yes, not Arkansas, but Alabama. Good morning, Kimberly. Good morning, Trish. She's drinking water in the morning, which is what we probably all should be doing. <laughs> Good morning, Brianna and Mary. And Stevie's girl, she says she can't wait for the Papa Don't Preach blushes. Oh, my goodness, the one that looks like a pie. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? If you haven't seen the Papa Don't Peach blushes that uh, Jared Blandino from Too Faced have leaked the pictures. There's, some, there's pictures in the news. The one that looks like a pie, that one gets me. That one gets me. I, I just... I'm going to have to swatch them to see, but that one gets me. If they even let him get that far, they might just get like the peach palette on the. He wouldn't do that, though. Do you think he would do that? Do you think he would just make it like the peach palette and like do a limited release and not let everybody get them? See, now it's like I was hurt. No, I wasn't hurt. But a lot of people were hurt by Too Faced that they couldn't get the peach palette. So now I'm a little bit. Cause I got mine, but you guys get what I'm trying to say. Um, so I worry about those limited releases. Releases. Hopefully, he makes enough of them. Uh, good morning. Let's see. Oh, oh, it skipped down a little bit. Uh, let's see. Oh, I missed. I missed a bunch of things. Okay, somehow I missed. If I didn't say good morning to you, somehow it flipped down and I missed it. So good morning if you are here and I did not say good morning. Good morning to you. Mel says it's her first time watching live. Um, Felicia says she was hurt. I know, Felicia. I know, girlfriend. I know. I feel you. I feel you on that one. <laughs> Brianna, were you hurt too? I don't know about I, I don't know how I feel about the better together. Yeah, it's a little... I wish I had more stuff in it, you know, more shadows. Give me more shadows, you know. 
All right. Good morning. Good morning, Stephanie. She said Kat Fondi did a bit of an explanation about the product selling out, something about warehouse storage, shelf life, etc. I don't know how accurate that is. Oh, no. Good morning in Romania. All right. So let's go ahead and talk about some of these products. I'm going to go ahead and start with some of the primer products, eyeshadow primer products. They think are really, really good. Well, actually, one's a face primer, one's an eyeshadow primer that are really, really good. They've totally been neglecting. This one is the Mirabella Prime for Face face primer. It is a silicone based primer, but if you like silicone based primers, this one's a really, really good one. Uh, I got this in a subscription box. This is actually the second one that I've owned, and it's just a really great face primer. It feels good to go on the face makeup last time when I wear it, um, and I have seen a difference with this one. Some face primers don't really see much of a difference. I've seen a difference with this one. So definitely a yes on the Mirabella face primer. I don't know if anybody else has ever tried this, but it's great. It's a little hard to get uh, access to it, though, because they don't sell it in uh, regular stores that I know of. I think you have to buy it from the Mirabella website. Sometimes you can find Mirabella on Holt Look. Uh, so yes, um, and then the this one is one that's a little bit more accessible. This is the Urban Decay Anti Aging Eyeshadow Primer Potion, and this I actually saw a reduction in the wrinkles on my eyelids when I used this religiously when I used it every single day, which is really really weird. I was shocked. I was like, "Are you kidding me?" Like I I could really seriously tell a difference, and I was so surprised, so surprised. But I haven't been using it much because I've been using my Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer in Eden. This one does not have any muting out of discoloration. It's very similar in formula, the way that it looks to the original primer potion, but this one has those anti-aging um, you know, benefits in there. So if you are looking for some anti-aging, this is definitely one I recommend because it's got all the benefits of the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer, but also has the anti-aging stuff in it too. It's really good. Uh, let's see. Uh, Laura says, good morning, even though it's late here in Australia. Thank you so much for joining us. Hello, Dawn. She, she says, ha I have that one, too. I've never tried it. Felicia says she has it. Uh, Carolyn says, I got a sample of the Rock Eye Primer in my eye palette, and I really like it. Oh, really? Use it more than my MAC Paint Pot and my Prep and Prime Eyeshadow Primer. Really? Because that one did not work for me. Wow. Boots and Lace says, you can use your points for the Mirabelle Primer on either Boxy Charm or Glossy Box. Good to know. Thank you so much. Good morning, Valerie. I missed you, too. Um, Felicia says doesn't work well with one of my face primers which one Felicia what doesn't work well with one of your face primers I missed it Catherine says I love that eye primer always forget I have it B Beauty says hi Jen it's Brittany hello Brittany here uh, here so early this time I'm so glad that you're here that's fantastic um, Jenna says she loves her NYX white paint pot I didn't know NYX made a white paint pot I only use the the, the pencil and milk interesting my shirt says will work for coffee is what my shirt says. It's very me. I do work for coffee. I love me my coffee. I do. Uh, good morning to Susan and Carolyn. Carolyn says, I want the Urban Decay eye primer. She totally get it. And a lot of times you can find the Urban Decay, at least I've been able to find it, at um, Nordstrom Rack. If you have a Nordstrom Rack around you, they have um, they had boxes and boxes and boxes of them for half price. So definitely recommend checking there. Uh oh, dog's trying to come up. All right, come here, baby. Come say hi real quick, and then I'm going to have you go out because your paws are kind of hurting me and you're a little distracting. So I will cuddle with you later. Okay? I know. I know, baby. I know. But we're going to send you out because I have to talk about makeup, and I really don't want doggy hairs all in my makeup. Okay? But I do love you. Sorry. Just a second. Hold on. Sam's. <laughs> That's like Sam. It's my baby. All right, baby. You ready? Come on. Come on, let's pop out. He was just laying there for a minute, but now he's off. Uh... Hey, John, will you call Sam? Sam. Okay. There we go. Daddy will give him some love. All right. So, oh, he's such a sweetheart. All right, he is a Brittany, by the way. Um, sometimes people call them Brittany Spaniels, but he is a Brittany is what they technically call them. Very close to a Spanielish kind of thing. Anyway, back to makeup. Okay, another thing that I neglect a lot is my powder foundations. I'm told these are great products, and I just neglect them all the time. This is the Cocoa Powder Foundation by Too Faced, and then this is the Laura Geller Balance Baked Balance and Brighten Foundation. Uh, this one is a little bit dark for me, which means I should be using it like right now. I should be using it uh, because it, because it's a little dark for me. I'm a little bit. I've been out in the sun a little bit, so you know. 
so I need to use these more. These are great products. These are wonderful if you have like a BB cream and you want to just bump up the coverage just a little bit. This is a great way to do that. I haven't found any uh, powder foundations to be of medium to full coverage. Uh, usually these are of light to medium coverage on their own. But when added in with a tinted moisturizer or BB cream, it really does uh, bump up the coverage of it. So they're really nice for that. And I've totally been neglecting them. And then, of course, this one smells like chocolate. Then smells much like chocolate is what I bought it. But it still smells like chocolate. It's really, really good. So love, 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 love these. All right. Let's see. In, in order. Okay. I have a lot of eyeshadow palettes because eyeshadow is kind of my thing. You know, everybody's got their, not everybody, but probably most people that are really into makeup have their thing that they love. Typically, it's either lipstick or eyeshadow. I feel like those are the two things that people, it's kind of their thing. Some people, it's blush, but most people, I feel like it's lipstick or eyeshadow. For me, it's eyeshadow. That's my thing. So I'm constantly buying new eyeshadow palettes which, palettes, which means I neglect a lot of eyeshadow palettes. So the first kind of palette that I want to talk about and I've been neglecting that are really, really good are my Lorac palettes. I haven't used one of these Lorac palettes in probably two months. And it's sad because they're amazing palettes. They're really, really good. Uh, for ones that you can no longer get, I do have the Lorac Pro Original and the, the Mega Pro. The Lorac Mega Pro Original and the Lorac Mega Pro 2. The original was amazing. I'm waiting for Lorac to be smart enough to re-release this. I don't know why they don't. If I was their marketing director, I would be like, dude, we need to make more of these and we need to sell them. Like, this is probably the most comprehensive amazing palette that I own as far as neutral shadows like it is just it's perfect in my opinion perfect as far as the shade range oh my god <laughs> Sarah says that mega pro is my unicorn I know and that's why I think Lorac is absolutely stupid for not redoing this and putting this out again like I don't know why they wouldn't there has to be a reason something that I am ignorant of there has to be a reason why they aren't re releasing this because it's amazing the only thing about Lorac shadows is they do kick up powder when you um when you put your brush in, they do kick up powder. So you just have to be very gentle when you tap your brush in them. But they're beautiful, wonderful, smooth shadows. Um, they're really, really good. They're really great. Um, and just this palette. I got so lucky to get this. I um, had someone in my community that I was following on... Um, I was following her on Instagram. And she posted on her Instagram that this was on Amazon. And I jumped over to Amazon and I bought it. And it was because I was following someone in the community that I have happened to get this. So um, really, 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 really um, glad to have that. I also have the two, which was a little bit underwhelming compared. Um, you know, I mean, it's nice. But compared, I mean, this is this ain't nothing compared to the original. You know, as far as the shade range. I mean, but I mean, quality-wise, it's the same. It's the Rock Pro formula. But... The shade range is just weird compared to that one. I mean, you've got bright blues and um, olive greens and golds and purples and oranges. Like, it's just strange. It's a strange combination. And then you've got this weird light section over here that makes absolutely no sense to me. Why in the world you would have one, two, three, four, five, six shades? Seven, really? I mean, that's just a... Just, I don't know what they were thinking doing that many super light shades. It just doesn't make any sense. It makes no sense to me. But the quality of the shadows is fantastic. Uh, I also have the, I don't think this is available anymore, the Little Rock Mega, uh, the Metals palette. This is really nice as a little supplemental palette if you happen to run across this. I think that they were, how much did they cost? Um, Sabrina wants to know. And honestly, I can't remember. It's been a really, really, really long time. I can't remember how which they were, I want to say they were like 60 bucks or something like that, 65? Can't remember. If anybody knows how much they cost, uh, put it in the chat because I can't remember. But I know that they were significantly more. Maybe um, this one right here, the Mega Pros, I think were like 65, something like that. Yeah, and I think, um, Carolyn, I do think this was like 28, something like that. Uh, but yeah, so this here... Fantastic, fantastic quality. I love the shimmer in these, but this is just a really nice, um, yeah, $28 for the small palettes. This is just a really nice little supplemental palette if you want just like a nice metallic pop 
It was 60. Thank you so much, Keisha. I appreciate that. I thought it was somewhere around there, uh, which is a fantastic deal for all of those shadows, especially considering I think these are like 44, 45, something like that. I do have the original Lorac Pro. This one my sister-in-law gave me because it didn't work for her. And honestly, I don't I, I don't reach for it as much as and nearly as much as I should. I really feel like this here is more of for reference purposes than for me actually using it because it's like I don't know why I don't reach for this. I don't know if anybody else feels that way about the original The Rock Pro Palette. I actually reach more for the Pro 2 than I do for the original Pro Palette, which is strange because I like the original Mega Pro and not as much the second Mega Pro, but I don't like the original Pro, but I like the second Pro. <laughs> Hi, Lisa. How are you? Um, Steph says she tried to slow down the palette buying. Yes, I hear you. Um, by the way, Tabitha says, everyone subscribe to Be Beauty and be sure to bug her when she says, axe, not ask. LOL. <laughs> okay. Be Beauty. We all need to subscribe. B-E-E -E Beauty. Got it, Tabitha. Uh, Judith says, I have the Lorac Pro to go and I love the bronzer that's included. I don't have that one. Uh, Carolyn says, Anastasia Beverly Hills is one of the best ever made. And you know what? I don't own any Anastasia eyeshadow palettes, but I will soon because Nancy is kind enough that she's going to be sending me the um, Modern Renaissance palette, which I saw off topic for a second. I saw the Modern Renaissance palette is being compared to the Violet Voss Holy Grail palette. So I think that's what one thing I'm going to do with it is I want to see how close those two things, those two are. I'm very curious to see. What happens with that? Beauty Hall 411. Hey, Beth, how are you? She says she reaches for the Pro 2 more than the original as well. Gotcha. All right. Uh, so, loving this. I really love this section over here a lot. Um, just those, those, those colors just make me happy. They make me happy in my heart. Like these two right here, actually these three, these four. <laughs> just this whole section. This section is a little weird for me, but like this right here is money right there and just oh. Susan says the modern renaissance palette is amazing oh I'm so excited so excited and I haven't I've never owned Anastasia eyeshadows it's just a brand that I haven't gravitated towards um you know it's really expensive and I got burned on their liquid lipsticks the original formula I hated it um the brow products I feel like on the whole are a bit overpriced because I have other products that aren't Anastasia that I like better so I've always, I've been like Anastasia kind of, and also, you know how when a, when a product is super hyped on YouTube, how I, I kind of like go, mm, maybe it's not so great. I don't know. Do you do that when, when a product is super hyped on YouTube? I don't know. Sometimes it makes me think twice, you know, but, but everybody's telling me about the Modern Renaissance palette, so I know that's going to be a good one. Uh, uh, Tammy says, oh, really, hopefully I'm using the right name for you. Um, what is a really good travel palette? Let me show you. If I could travel, which I did, I did travel with more than one palette, but the Urban Decay Naked Basics 2 is a fantastic palette for travel. I'm not sure what your skin tone is, um, so I don't, I'm not positive how this would work with your particular skin tone, but man, this is a really good palette. Um, it just, it has everything in it to complement a very simple matte look, just to pull something out. Nice for, um, for, uh, I'm reading comments. <laughs> nice for um, just a very simple, easy daytime look. Um, Boots and Lace says, no way the Modern Renaissance palette blows the Violet Voss out of the water. The shades are similar, but the quality is like L'Oreal versus Tom Ford. <laughs> Maybe a little dramatic. I like Violet Voss. I mean, there's a lot of people that don't like Violet Voss. I like Violet Voss. We're going to do a test. We're going to do a test. Um, Tracy says, did you hit pan on anything while traveling with limited makeup? Nope. I never hit pan. I never do. It's like, I don't think I have a single eyeshadow in my entire collection that I've hit pan on. How, it's sad. It's sad. Liz says, I do feel that way. If I feel if they're sponsored when everyone always, all of a sudden loves it, Modern Renaissance is nicely pigmented with lots of red-orange colors, which are super, super popular right now. There's red-orange colors. All right, so let's get out of high-end land for a minute, and let's get into drugstore land. And how this says, Violet Voss is groovy. Mm, pancakes. Hey! Says, I bought the Serpentina palette and it reminds me of the look of Violet Voss. I'm surprised I haven't heard that one hyped up more. It's so pretty. Love Kat Von D. I love, I love most of Kat Von D's eyeshadow palettes. Some of them I've gotten have been a little long. 
Um, Tammy says, I'm yellow toned fair with brown eyes, but I really need a good eyeshadow palette so I don't take too much. I'm much, I'm a makeup hoarder. Well, what you can do is bring this and then bring one that has like maybe something like this. Not this because this is, has a lot of neutrals in it too, but something that has a little bit more color in it and then bring this as like a, you know, like a little supplemental to complement, you know, and then you can just use this if you want or use something that has a little more color. All right, speaking of drugstore, let's move into the drugstore eyeshadow palettes that I really need to use more often. So the first one is the Wet n Wild Comfort Zone palette. Fantastic palette. I've heard some people have trouble with lasting power with this. I do not. This is fantastic. I love this palette. Uh, it's just, I love it. I do wish that there were more... Um, that this brown in the bottom was a matte shade. I think that would be fantastic. This one here, if this was matte, and this was matte, and then the rest were shimmer, I think I would be in a happier place with this palette. But really is a fantastic palette. This actually would be good to complement this because you've got your mattes here, you've got your shimmers here, put these together, yes. Stephanie says, Naked 2 Basics was probably the best makeup purchase I've ever made. I know, right? I know, because it's so versatile. It's so versatile, it's fantastic. So definitely, yes on that. This is by far the best um, wet and mild eyeshadow palette that I've ever bought. Um, Walking on Eggshells is also really good, um, and some of the limited edition ones have been really good, but some of them... Oh no, they're, they're hit and miss, but that one's really good, and you can find that thing everywhere. Um, NYX. NYX is also another brand that's very hit or miss for me for eyeshadows. These are two palettes that were really good for me. The NYX Avant Pop, I got this in my Generation Beauty swag bag. I think I got this in the swag bag too. I don't think I, purchased, I, don't think I purchased either of these. I think they were both, um, I think they were both in swag bag. I think so. But they're both really good. This one is the go-to palette, La Palette Indispensable. Most of NYX's eyeshadows I don't like. Um, like the ones that were like in Rio and in Paris, those things, they were not good. They were not good at all. How brands release products and you like swatch it and it's like, this is not good. Like how does that even happen? I guess they're on like a time crunch and they can't get the... the quality good or something? I don't know. I would love to work for a makeup company and find out how crap products even get released. Like, I don't, I don't get it. I don't. Um, Beth says, I'm really disappointed in the Too Faced Kat Von D coming out. I expected so much more. I know, especially since they're both flipping geniuses. They're both makeup geniuses. <laughs> how did you end up coming up with something so underwhelming? And I agree, it is underwhelming. Like, it's just like, really? That's it? That's what it looks like inside? You know, but, yeah, I know. There you go. Um, oh, we, uh, Marina says, some people just like less pigmented shadows, and that's very true. I am not one of them. I have trouble working with shadows that are less pigmented, but you are absolutely right. And being a reviewer on YouTube, I get to learn from a lot of people. And, like, when I've reviewed things like the Maybelline Blush Nudes palette, I was surprised at how many people love that palette because it doesn't have a lot of pigmentation. They find it easier to work with. They can get nice, light looks for work, things like that. So I know that I'm not the only – I know that our I am not solely, wait, let me say that again. <laughs> Figure out what the world is saying. You guys know what I'm saying. There are a lot of people that disagree with me that pigmented shadows are the best way to go. So, you know. Newton Lace wants to know, have you tried the new L'Oreal quads? I heard they were really good. Bought one last night, so I'm going to try it out. Let me know. I haven't tried them. Uh, Ladybug says, I didn't like those NYX palettes, the Avant Pop and the more neutral one. Really? I really liked it. I felt like the shades were great. I felt like they were really easy to work with, um, but I've totally been neglecting it. And you know what? Now looking at this, because it's been neglected, I have not used one, two, three, four, five shades in this palette. I can see that there has not been a brush in them. I've used this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. So maybe some of these have other issues. I don't know. But the shades that I've used, I really enjoyed using. And I need to use it more. Maybe I'll use it today. Um, and then this one's really good. This one is great. Um, and the blush and the highlight and the bronzer. I don't, I don't think I'm, I remember not really liking the bronzer much. But the blush and the highlight I really liked. All right. More drugstore. More drugstore. Okay. Um, Jenna says probably because they have heavy hands. Yeah, some people really dig into their shadows. So um, Aaron says this has been an extremely brutal decade for those of us who don't want to wear warm tone shadows. Oh my gosh, yeah. Well, and especially right now, there's so much orange out there, so much warm, and it's only going to get more once we hit into fall. Getting those burnt orange colors, there's going to be more and more and more of them. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Um, 
Yeah, and Michelle says, I agree, Aaron. I'm cool toned junkie. Absolutely. Uh, Wendy says, Power of Makeup reminds me of the Stardust Palace by Vegas Nay. I'll have to look at pictures of those next to each other. I've never looked at it together. Um, yeah, um, Marina says, Is it true that Pat McGrath is bringing back the highlighters? That's what we heard. I don't know. That's what we heard. Steph says, I missed the Vegas Nay, so I'll probably buy Nikki's palette. I want to review Nikki's palette. I am not like super intrigued by it like it doesn't call to me but i want to review it really really bad i really want to review it i want it to be amazing i want it to be awesome and i want to review it so i'm probably going to get it all right back to drugstore revealed and revealed smoky by coastal sense these are really great palettes especially the revealed smoky i was surprised at how much i love this i have reviews of these on my channel if you um look look uh search my videos go to my videos and you search you'll find reviews of both of these i believe i know there's a review of this one um just really great quality i have the urban decay smoky and this one actually beat it out as far as lasting power as far as pigmentation ease of use not by much not by much just by this much but still a fantastic palette for drugstore pricing. Um, really, really good. And the original Reveal palette. The Reveal 2 was, was pretty good. And the Reveal 3, I didn't really like much. I actually ended up giving that one away to someone who actually really likes it. Um, but I like this one as well. The, the, the original Reveal was, was my favorite until I got the Revealed Smoky, and that became my favorite. So these are both really, really good as far as drugstore um, palettes. All right, moving into single eyeshadows that I neglect. All right, let me see if I'm missing some things. Um, uh, Marina says, I feel like the power of makeup looks like every other Too Faced holiday palette. <laughs> Best matte eyeshadow palette, definitely the, uh, the Naked Basics 2 is my favorite matte eyeshadow palette. Um, other good ones that, let me think, I'm trying to think of any other matte, specifically matte eyeshadow palettes. I've heard great things about the Kat Von D one, but I don't own it, so I can't speak for it. All right, back to the singles. So since we're in drugstore land, let's talk about these. These are the J Cat Beauty Triple Crown um Triple Crown Baked Eyeshadows. These things are stinking amazing. I'm going to swatch these for you. These were sent to me for review. I always like to tell you that. But I just want to swatch these just to show you. I'm finger swatching. I know it would be better if I did brush swatches. But this is the one called Grilled Mango. But these go on the eyes like this. They go on the eyes like that. Like, oh my gosh, amazing. I think they're six bucks a piece. So good, so good. So I have Grilled Mango. I have... Uh, Cherry Fudge Sunday, and I have Baked Alaska. So for cool tone people, this is your cool toned one. This one's really good called Baked Alaska. This one I do not recommend. It is not good. This one is in uh, Blueberry Muffin. But I want to. I would love to get more of these, but I don't even use the ones that I have. So why would I get more of them? But they're really, really good. Lasting power is fantastic. Very easy to work with. Great to pair this with something like this. You know, putting these together to make a complete look. Yes, 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 yes. Um, you can get these at Ulta.com. These are fantastic. Another one, other ones, you guys are really going to know these. You guys are going to be like, yes, these things are awesome because they are. L'Oreal Infallibles. L'Oreal Infallibles are super fab, super fab. My two favorites are the Iced Latte and Amber Rush. Uh, and these are famous for a reason. They're amazing. But I neglect them. They end up getting in my drawer, and I forget to use them. The only time I remember to use them is if I want that shimmery shine in the pop in the center of my lid. These are wonderful. Wendy wants to know how are mug singles or makeup geek singles. Most Instagrammers are using it. Just scared. Just another overhyped product. You know what? I haven't. Um, Steph says she's not truly impressed with the makeup geek singles. To be completely awesome, but to be completely honest and to be she is completely awesome though addicted beauty says makeup geek is awesome uh lorena says amber rush is my staple uh beth says makeup geek shadows are amazing steph's like well maybe i picked up shadows <laughs> but these are really really good it kind of hurts my heart to pay six dollars for a drugstore um single eyeshadow i mean these these are three shades so that's one thing but it's kind of like oh and um so i, I kind of don't buy a lot of them, but these two, even just these two, these are wonderful. Um, these are 3.5 grams, and then this here is um, 5 grams. So this is almost twice. So 3.5 and then 5 grams. Really, really good. Let me swatch these for you because I just can't not swatch it. 
Nice latte. So good, so good. And these are part of the permanent line, so they're super easy to find. Okay. Oh no! Uh oh, something happened to the feed. Hold on a second. Here we go, let's see. Is that better, is it working now? Should be working. Looks like it's working to me. Oh no, oh no. People are saying in the chat that it's not working. Um, let me close some of these windows out. Hopefully it's working now. Okay, there we go, okay. All right, thank you for letting me know in the chat because I wouldn't have known, so I appreciate you. All I did was uh, swatch ice latte on my finger real quick and then I'm gonna sweat, swatch Amber Rush. Thank you for letting me know, I appreciate it. I, I don't know what happened. Something with my computer. My computer keeps trying to go to sleep, so I think that's part of what's happening here. Like butter, like butter. So that's Amber Rush, and that's Ice Latte. Just, <laughs> must be a huge, yeah. Hopefully it's working now, hopefully it's working now. Stephanie says, I should give the, L the Lord Geller baked products a try. Yeah, they're really good. Maybe they're better. Baked products have nails on the chalkboard texture feeling for me. Yeah, you know, I really like the Lord Geller products. Um, if you want to do Lord Geller, hold on, let me get my, hold on a second. These, if you don't want to do the baked, these are really good. Um, this is baked, but this is the Vivid Swirl Blush. These are really good. The highlighters are really good. The ones that are like this. Hold on, it's right here. Okay, so this one is in um, Papaya. It's one of those that's buildable, so it goes on kind of light, and then the more you put it on, it's buildable. It's really nice, and then this one is Gilded Honey. I do use these. Well, this one I don't use as much, which I should use more. This one I use all the time, um, Gilded Honey. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. Let me see if I can swatch that too. I need to get my towel. I have a towel specifically for this purpose. So right there. I don't remember that being that pigmented. Holy jizzoli. Goodness. Ooh. Um, Snape Sunny says, Jen, remember the Micah Beauty loose pigment we got in Epsi bag a few months back? It was great for a pop of shimmer on the lid. Yes. Micah Beauty is a great brand. I wish they weren't so expensive. Really expensive. It's crazy how expensive they are. Um, but yes. But it doesn't go on that pigmented on the cheeks. I guess maybe because I'm using a fluffier brush, it doesn't go on like that. Like, that's some craziness. I don't remember it looking like that. Again, I've been neglecting it. All right. Speaking of blush, oh, one more eyeshadow, and then we'll go into blush. These Urban Decay Duos. This is half-baked and twice-baked. I have a couple of these that I got in holiday sets. When the holiday sets start coming out, and you see any of these Duo Urban Decay eyeshadows, single eyeshadows, these are super fab, because usually they'll put their best colors in here. So twice-baked and half-baked. Let me get my towel. Stop neglecting. All right. Oh no, don't drop, don't drop. Oh. All right. I can't even get that blush off. All right. Half baked, twice baked. Oh. Beautiful. It's so beautiful. Um, Olivia says the naked pigments are so pretty and those cannot be in this video because I love them and I use them all the time um, but I do have a video coming out where they will be in the new filming this week that I'll be talking about the naked pigments so make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss that <laughs> which if you're here you're probably subscribed all right blush Let's talk about some blush so blush that I neglect these old wet and wow color icon blushes in, what is this, Heather, one of them is Heather Silk. Heather Silk and Pearlescent Pink. Pearlescent Pink I didn't like quite as much as Heather Silk. Heather Silk, Heather Silk was money. Money, money, love Heather Silk. Totally neglect it. It's fantastic blush, amazing, amazing, amazing. I haven't tried any of the new Wet n Wild blushes. Uh, Michelle that's here sent me uh, a couple of the highlighters. They're very nice, they kind of sit on the skin, but they're very nice for drugstore highlighters. I do like them, um, but they definitely don't compete with some with my higher end ones, but I've worn them quite a bit and I am enjoying using them. Um, and I, but I haven't used any of the new Wet n Wild blushes. 
Uh, Marina says the new formula is better, really. Super Keach says side effects of being a makeup addict, memory loss. <laughs> Forgot how pretty those are. I know, right? Um, Carolyn Clinton says the best blushes that I think are the best are NARS, Burberry, Tarte, and Clinique. Um, Olivia says been sub forever. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. And Lisa says the new Wet n Wild blushes are great. B Beauty says I neglect blush in general, but I'm wearing it today. I feel so put together. <laughs> Christine said, I used to love those blushes, but the older I get, the less pigment I want in my blushes. Yeah. That makes sense. It makes perfect sense. Perfect sense. So other ones going into high-end blushes that I neglect are just blush palettes in general. I used I went through a blush palette phase where I just really I love the idea of blush palettes. And I, but I don't reach for them. I reach for the singles. I know what the single is. I know what it looks like. That's what I want to use. But I have this. I might just need to pass this on to somebody. I've thought about passing this on just because it's got a lot of, it has orgasm in it, which is, I don't think I have orgasm anywhere else in my collection. So it's like, mm, should I pass it along? I don't know. I thought about passing this along and this is a giant Laguna. It's actually bigger than full size. Uh, so I don't use this palette though. And then this is an old Tarte holiday palette. Beautiful blush shades in here. Really beautiful. Really like these, but I don't ever reach for them. Don't ever reach for them. Um, Julie says the balm in stain blushes. That's another thing that will not make it into this video because I use those all the time. They're amazing. They're amazing. If you don't know the balm, you're missing out, girlfriend. You are missing out. They should be on Hope Look, I think, next month. They'll be due to go on Hope Look for half price. I really want to get the Meat Matrimony palette. Um, Alexa says, I love Makeup Geek blushes. I don't own any of them, so I can't vouch for them, but I've heard good things. Um, Cheyenne says, oh my gosh, I never... I have that, Jen. I just gave it. Oh, no, I missed it. Cheyenne, I missed it. Hold on. I have a coffee in my hand. I missed it. Hold up. Hold up. Let me go back up to Cheyenne because I want to finish it. I just, I, I have that, Jen. I just gave it away to a friend because I never use it. Yep. There you go. There you go. Jill says, I know everyone uses them, but I can't stop using the Milani blushes. I reach them almost every day. Yep. Um, Diana says, it's just so much more trouble to pull out a whole palette when a single is so easy. And it's so funny because it's opposite for eyeshadows. I would much rather grab an eyeshadow palette and a single blush because how many blushes are you going to use at once? Just the one, right? But eyeshadows, you use a ton of them at the same time. So I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't think I'm going to buy any more blush palettes. Of course, the holiday season comes and I'll go back on it, but... <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't. I, I need to stop buying blush palettes because I don't end up reaching for them, and they're expensive. They're not cheap. Um, Riley says I love the NYX ombre blushes, which I've never tried, and Sherry says I love the Milani blush and T Rose, and love uh, love the rose imprint. So girly. Yes, they are really girly. I don't own any of those either. Uh, Jenna says the hourglass blushes are amazing. My friend Susan W, who's a reporter who has a YouTube channel, she really likes the hourglass blushes. Um, and then happy birthday to Kathleen, Sabrina says. I didn't know it was Kathleen's birthday. Happy birthday, Kathleen. Uh, let's see. Uh, mm, pancakes, I heard the Ulta blushes are dupes for makeup peak. I got one Ulta blush for um, when I bought the Miss Gen Fabulous palette. I got some Ulta things, and I really like the Ulta blush. I was shocked. I was absolutely shocked. I would love to do an Ulta brand review. I'm going to buy some more Ulta stuff and do an Ulta brand review because I think people are curious. Like, they don't want to buy Ulta stuff because you've heard horror stories, but... I'm finding Ulta brands got some good stuff, and I was shocked. I was shocked. Eyeshadow palette was just kind of meh for me, but the foundation that I got is really good, and the blush is really good. So I want to try some more Ulta brand stuff. So, and then um, Pancake says the Ulta butter lippies are nice. Yeah, and the lipstick was good too. All right, speaking of that, let's get into lipstick. And you know what? I'm starting to run out of products here, and we got 20 minutes left. I don't know if I got 20 minutes worth of stuff here. Oh no, we can just talk about other stuff if we run out of stuff, if I run out of progress, uh, progress. If I run out of products, if I can speak. Julie says, I adore cargo swimmable blush. Yes, in Bali. Yes. I forget the one that I really like. It's like the big cabana or something. I don't know. I forget what it's called, but it's like a coral color. It's really pretty. Boots and Lace, the new Lorac blushes are really amazing. That's good to know. See, why, why, why? Stop telling me these things. Uh, Diana says, I've heard some people love the Ulta brand mascara. I'll have to try it. Snape's Honey says, Jen, get the, get the light pink Ulta Beauty Blender. It's awesome. Really? Interesting. Um, let's see, Creamy Mats by Maybelline. Okay, cool. 20 minutes worth of talking guarantee. I know, right? Tracy says, Jen, you should hide your most used everyday products that you gravitate to wear in a box and try out your neglected products for weeks or week or so. Absolutely. Well, this is the thing, though, is what I, what I do. Let me show you what I do. 
this is why things get neglected. This here is my basket of things that I need to try that are new products. So this is this it's it's not even that there's things that I love that I use all the time as much as like there are some things that I use all the time, but then there's things that I need to try for review. Like this here. Let me show you. This right here is my list of products that I should be using. So things that came in subscription boxes. So I've got back to Birchbox May. Um, and I've like I've got the products that Michelle sent me. I've got um, the palette that Nicole from Yoni Nicole sent me. I've got stuff from my Julep box, my Ipsy bag. I mean, these are all subscription box things that that go back to May that I haven't tried yet that I need to try. It's all subscription box stuff that I would need to do for review. And especially with Ipsy and BoxyCharm, I have to use them because those are two um, videos that I really enjoy doing. BoxyCharm I have to do because they sent it to me for review, but Ipsy I really like to do as well. So like in here I've got like the e.l.f. foundation stick that I bought. Um, I've got the Essence Eye Heart Color Eyeshadow Primer. Um, you know, stuff from subscription boxes that I need to try. So it would be a good idea to put away things that I don't reach for. But I gotta figure out that system and how that's gonna work. <laughs> I gotta figure out that system. I don't know. All right, um, moving, on. moving on. This thing keeps trying to go to sleep on me. I have to figure that out for next chat why it's not, why it keeps going to sleep on me. All right, Lipstick Queen. I reviewed these. These are the Frog Prince Blush and Lipstick. Love these, really, really love these. This is a cream blush. I have a full review on these. But it's just beautiful. It's beautiful. And then the lipstick, it just leaves a nice flush to the cheeks. It's it's a beautiful shade. It's gorgeous. Um, and then this is the lipstick. So it changes with your pH. Or your pH with, with heat, whatever. Something makes it change when you put on. It's probably the heat of your body. But they're very subtle. They're very nice. They're very natural. I really like them a lot, but I haven't been using them since I did the review. But I love them. I do. They're fantastic. Beauty Hall uh, 401 Beth says, Mug Romance, Makeup Geek Romance, Spellbound, and Infatuation Blushes are beautiful. Um, Marina says, oh my goodness, the Hello Sailor lipstick is horrible. That's good to know. They were expensive. They're like 20 bucks a piece, the lipstick, um, the, the um, lipstick queen stuff. $25 each. Yeah, exactly. Um, super Quiche says, a super underrated makeup brand is the Body Shop. Really? A lot of people don't even know they have makeup. I did know they had makeup, but I never went by it because, I don't know, it just didn't look good. So Sabrina says, oh my goodness, you're so organized. I have to be, or I, like, I'm trying to figure out how to be organized. I haven't organized my life. Because then I end up, like the last Ipsy video, where I had a nail polish that I didn't try. And it's like, I, what's the point of reviewing something if I didn't even try it? I've had it for a month, I haven't even tried it. I need to make sure that I review it. So uh, Olivia says, I love the frog prints too, just not the gloss. I return the gloss. I didn't like the Frog Prince gloss. It was yucky. It had the green undertone that never went away and big green sparkles. It was ugh. Um, all right. Speaking of lip products, let's go into lip products that I neglect. Lipstick in general, I have been neglecting. Because I've been really into liquid lipsticks lately, uh, my favorite liquid lipsticks right now are the Julep, which I got for that sponsor video. Really love that formula, even though it was a sponsor video. This, they're not sponsoring this video. They just sponsored that video. But I really love the Julep one that I just got. I really love Ofra, and I really love the new Bare Minerals Gen Nude ones. Um, I'm supposed to be getting a bunch of the Gen Nude stuff with Ipsy points when I get my Ipsy bag, and I want to do a whole review of all of the Gen Nude stuff from Bare Minerals, and Bare Minerals in general is a brand that doesn't get talked about nearly enough, nearly enough. Um, but, oh my goodness, loving those. I love the whipped formulas for liquid lipsticks. They just, they last a really long time. They don't feel super dry. Um, I can pop a lip balm over if my lips start getting dry, but it's like you can't have kiss proof. This is the thing. You can't have a kiss proof liquid lipstick and not be dry because what makes it kiss proof is that it's not, it's, it's, it's not hydrating. Like if you have product on, it's going to kiss off, you know, like I don't feel like you can have both. Like it's got to be one or the other. You know, either you want it to be kiss proof and it'll be dry, or you want something that's hydrating and it's not kiss proof. So, but the lasting power on these things is really, really good. So, regular lipsticks, I've just been neglecting in general. Um, just neglecting in general. So, my favorite lipstick formula of all time 
is the Too Faced lipsticks. Love, love, love this formula. I have this many, and I love them, but I never use them anymore because I've been into the liquid lipsticks. So Pink Chocolate is my favorite. It's my absolute favorite. I also have Unicorn Tears, which has been uh, quite a joke in the community for a very long time. I'll show you Unicorn Tears in a minute. If you, have, if you don't know anything about Too Faced Unicorn Tears, I have a video on it. It's crazy. It's crazy. Actually, I'll put this on and I'll put Unicorn Tears over top of it. But this is Pink Chocolate. Oh, my gosh. Pink Chocolate is like my dream color. I love this color. It's fantastic. And then I'll put Unicorn Tears over top of it just for fun. Unicorn Tears, I don't know if it was meant to be used alone, but I would never wear it alone. <laughs> it's too crazy. It's actually got um, product on the top of it because I did not clean it off last time I used it. Must have used it with a purple lipstick because there's purple on it. I think I did when I did that crazy purple look for what's been makeup not that long ago. So this is Unicorn Tears by itself. And this is Unicorn Tears over top of pink chocolate. It's really fun. It's fun. <laughs> Alexis, I know, right? She's just said, um, Unicorn Tears with happy faces. Unicorn Tears is very loved in the What's Up and Makeup community. We have fun with Unicorn Tears. It's just fun to play with. It's fun to play with. But I really like this formula. I love this formula. I don't use it nearly, nearly enough. Um, I just saw somebody said they went away too fast that Palladio is an underrated makeup brand. Um, I don't own anything by Palladio. So I'm pretty sure that they're sold at Sally Beauty. I think that's where they're sold around me. Olivia says, I have unicorn tears, but I don't reach for it often. Would never wear it alone. People would think I was crazy. Yes, exactly. I'm with you, Olivia. And we're on the same, same thing here. Cheyenne says she's never tried unicorn tears. It's fun. If you ever see it in a store, definitely swatch it. Have some fun with it. It's fun. Uh, Jennifer says, I have clueless, and I use it like you use unicorn tears. Clueless. What's clueless? I have clueless in ColourPop. I don't know clueless... What brand is that? Um, Steph says, I need Jouer's Skinny Dip. I've heard great things about Jouer's Skinny Dip. I'll have to check that out. Yes, I want to check out some reviews of it. Um, oh, okay. So lipstick, back to lipstick. My Charlotte Tilbury lipstick, when I got this, I was obsessed. Obsessed when I got it. I haven't even, I haven't touched it in months. So pretty, so pretty. This one is in the shade Hepburn Honey. It smells really, really good. Just like candy, not candy, like frosting, cupcake frosting. Oh, I love it. I love the way it feels on my lips. It feels amazing. Another one was my Marc Jacobs lipstick. I paid a stupid amount of money for these things. Stupid. Stupid amount of money. Like, when I say stupid, I, I mean like, like, what was the, what are these things? Really expensive. Really expensive. So, I should be using them. You know? But, I don't. I don't. I don't use them. But... I'm happy to have them because if I ever want them, they're there for me. They're there for me. And I definitely see the appeal of high-end lipstick, of like really expensive lipsticks because there is something special, I feel like, with my Charlotte Tilbury lipstick. I feel like there's something special about it, the way that it feels in the lips, the way that it goes on. So I can totally understand the appeal of buying these super, super expensive lipsticks. I probably won't buy it anymore because I have trouble buying them, but I can see the appeal. Totally see the appeal. Um, you know, super, super, super expensive, a lot of other things. I haven't seen as much of appeal, especially mascara. But lipstick, I really like expensive lipstick. I do. Yesenia says, my bite lipstick is still my favorite. Oh, Yesenia. Are you talking about the ones we made together? Yesenia and I went to the Bite Beauty Lab together, and we made lipsticks together. I love that one, too. I love the ones I made, too. That was one of the best, like, makeup purchases I've ever made, was going to the Bite Beauty Lab with Yesenia and making lipsticks with her. It was really, really fun. Yesenia Cuevas on YouTube. Uh, another shade I've been neglecting recently is Touch of Spice by Maybelline. This, if you're part of the community, this is another big joke of the community, is whenever I don't know what lipstick to wear, I put on Touch of Spice and it works. But I've been neglecting it lately. I really need to use Touch of Spice more. Touch of Spice is super fab. I love Touch of Spice. Love it. Two more things. I have two more things for you. And then we have 10 minutes to just hang out and talk. Um, Boss of Barbados says, the yeah, Essence is great. I love Essence mascaras. Love them. Uh, Terry Lee Nifty and Thrifty, check out her YouTube channel. Um, I like the Jordana Eyebrow Gel. I've never tried that. That's very interesting to have those tacho spas. Yeah. Linda says, what do you think of ColourPop products? I'm obsessed with their eyeshadows and gel eyeliner. 
I want to be obsessed with them. I want to love them, but I don't. I don't. And I, I just find the eyeshadows difficult to work with. I know there's tricks. There's different ways to do it. You know, you apply them with your fingers, things like that. But too much work for me. And I think that it's one of those things where you have to practice. At least I feel like I have to practice with a color pop in order to learn how to use them better. But I don't want to. I don't feel like it. I got so much other stuff that's easy to use. Color pop's not easy for me to use, so I don't, I don't use them much. And the, the, the pot eyeliners, I do like the formula, but I got to get out a little brush and I got to put them on. Like I've got eyeliners, you just go boop and it's done. So I don't reach for them that often, even though I do like the ColourPop eyeliners, the pot eyeliners. I do like them, but no. Um, who's that? Gina Lise. Gina Lise, I'm going to say. I think I got that right. Daringly Nude is a dupe for Honey Love by MAC. I do have Daringly Nude, but I'm not positive where it is, so I'm not going to go search for it. Uh, Diana says, I like ColourPop eyeshadow. It's good for pops in the lid, but otherwise not so much. Yeah, see, that's kind of where I'm at, too. Uh, Ladybug says, ColourPop lippy sticks are some of my favorite. They wear away so nicely, the matte ones. I like the ColourPop uh, the lippy sticks as well. I do. I do like those. I tend to gravitate more toward ColourPop lip products than anything else. I also really like their blushes and highlighters. I like those better than the eyeshadows. Uh, Steph says, she just did a look with ColourPop eyeshadows yesterday. That's awesome. Um, Christina says, Christine says, ColourPop is high is too high maintenance. Yeah, it's a little, a little much. Um, all right, so another product that I have been neglecting, Revlon, Just Fit and Kissable Balm Stains. I was obsessed with these forever, forever, and I haven't been using them, like, at all for years. They've just been sitting in my, I, like, it's literally been probably a year since I've used one of these. Maybe not a year since I've used one, but I've maybe used one. In like a year and I love these things I don't know why I don't I don't even know if they still sell these I think they do but I wouldn't buy anymore because I never use them but I remember really loving these yeah the color honey and Nina says the color honey the color honey is fantastic for my skin tone I love it um, Jenna says the makeup revolution blush and nude I have not tried that one Jill says I love essence I just made my first makeup revolution purchase and I was hoping it would arrive this weekend Re makeup revolution has been hit or miss for me uh, the eyeshadow palettes have definitely been hit or miss um, more on the miss side which I was sad because I heard so many great things about makeup revolution and I was a little underwhelmed K Swiss says honey's my go-to lipstick so natural but pretty yes yes um, Boston Barbie doll says faves from Ulta brand I just started getting things from Ulta brand so um, let me show you the the foundation I got this will be in a video later but you know since we're chatting and you're here and it's 53 minutes into the video uh, let me get it real quick hold on so good it's so good and I'm shocked how much I love it and it should be right here ah here it is the Ulta Demi Matte Foundation, right here. I got it on a whim. I was like, this stuff is not going to be good. It's not going to be good. It's good. It's really good. I have to pump some out so you can see the consistency of it because it's really thick. I talked about it in the What's On My Face video. It's the foundation I'm wearing on um, What's Up In Makeup today. I talked about it on the What's On My Face video. Um, it's on What's Up In Makeup .com. But Look how thick this is. Super, super, super thick. Really thick. But it blends out really nicely. It's a nice medium coverage. I don't know if it would get to full. I haven't tried. But it's a nice medium coverage foundation. And it feels good. It looks good. It's got a nice finish. Shocked. Shocked how much I liked it. Really, really nice. Really, really nice. So. Yes, and also shocked by that e.l.f. Um, one that I got recently. Oh, my gosh. This one right here, this um, foundation stick, moisturizing foundation stick that I got heard about from Emily Noel 83. Oh, my gosh. Amazing. Amazing. It's kind of, compared to the other one, this one looks shiny, shiny, shiny. Look at it accentuating this, uh, <laughs> the back of my hand. Oh, my goodness. But it blends in nicely. Again, another medium coverage. There you go. This one's got kind of a pinky undertone to it. This one is in the shade Natural. But yeah, both of those have been huge wins for me. I can't wait to do my favorites for this month. My August favorites, there's going to be so many things. Like, there's so many bad things and so many good things all at the same time. Like, 
I don't even know how I'm going to pick because I've got so much stuff to share with you guys. A lot of stuff. Um, Kat says, Tilbury and Kevin Aquan are the best liners in my opinion. And you know what? I've never tried either one of their liners ever. Uh, Cheyenne says, the Sephora Mini Mouse Palette is surprisingly good. Well, that's cool. I did hear really good things about that collection just in general. Um, let's see. Julie says, the Foundation Stick by Elf is on clearance on their site right now, which I am like... I can't believe that. Like, why are they doing that? I just discovered it. You can't do that to me. You cannot. Yesenia says, Jen, uh, you have to review the dose of colors liquid lipsticks. That was floored by the formula. Oh, don't tell me that, Yesenia. They're expensive. You tell me that. <sighs> I was going to do the bomb challenge, the black-owned beauty brands challenge. Girlfriend, I'm like looking at my cart. Like, I've got like $150, like between everything, trying to get everything. It's like $150 to do that challenge. This stuff is not cheap. Like, when you're going indie brands, a lot of them are really expensive. Like, I was on, um, the only thing was the Juvia's Place eyeshadow palettes were on sale. So that was saving me some, but still, that's like $25, bucks, $25 $30. And then the, um, where was I? Cupcake, cupcake something. What is it? Bake, bakery, Beauty Bakery. Like twenty dollars for a liquid lipstick. I was like, oh my gosh, which is typical for a more expensive liquid lipstick, but it adds up really quickly when you get a full face of that stuff. So I'm thinking about doing the Dollar Tree challenge instead, even though I really wanted to do the bomb challenge, the black owned beauty brands, um, black owned makeup brands challenge. I really want to do that, but it's just not in the budget right now. Like. I've spent so much money recently on makeup, and we just got back from that really long road trip, and it's just, like, thinking about spending $150 on makeup right now, it just doesn't seem like a smart thing to do for me right now. So, I think I might do the Dollar Tree Challenge instead, because that one looks like fun, and only cost me, like, $10. So, <laughs> I just bought that stuff at Ulta, too, at the Ulta sale. I just spent, like, 100 bucks at the Ulta sale. So, I might do the Black on Beauty Brands Challenge, like, once I get a little more cash flow, I can't. It's too expensive. Those indie brands, man, all indie brands are expensive, at least that I've seen for the most part. For the most part, not all of them, but a lot of the indie brands are expensive. Um, Honey Bunny says Dollar Tree. Yes. I think that would be fun. I think the Dollar Tree Challenge. I'd rather do that than the kids only makeup brand because if you find something good at the Dollar Tree, like if I find something good, people can go out and buy it and actually use it. I don't think you're going to find anything good in the kids makeup challenge. You know, Diana says $150 is a week of groceries. I know, right? And like for one video, and I'm not going to get enough views to pay for it either. Like some, some videos, I'll get enough views to pay for the product. Like my Jeffree Star video, I got enough views that the money that I got from YouTube from the ad revenue paid for the palette. But that's rare that that happens, and there's no way I'm going to make $150 off of a video. Not at this point in my YouTube career, so, you know. I don't know. One day I'd really like to do it, though, because I want to support black-owned beauty brands. I might get the Juvia's, pal Juvia's Place palette anyway, just because I want to try it. I've heard it's really good. Um, so now, um, Yesenia, going back to Yesenia, Yesenia was saying I need to try things from those of colors. And so they're so expensive. I want to. I want to. Sabrina says, does anyone have a, a hard time finding the right foundation shades for their face? With all the crazy funky names, you have to go to the store and swatch. Sabrina, um, there's a link on the Where to Buy page to a new app that we talked about in the show. I don't know anything about it, but my friend Nicole from Yay or Nay Nicole, um, she knows the person that made the brand, but you get this like card in the mail, and you hold it up to your face, and then they match your foundation, and then they give you a list of all the foundations, drugstore, like high end, I'm pretty sure high end too, that match your skin tone based on that color analysis, which I think is super cool. Um, so check that out on whatsupinmakeup.com. There's a link to um, getting the card, I think, for a dollar and 30 cents, something like that, dollar or something. I forget. Um, but might be a good tool. And then there was another one, Tabitha, I can't remember what it is, um, that we talked about, I think it was last week. Where uh, about foundation matching, that there's an app. Actually, I downloaded it. I can tell you what it is because I downloaded it. Hold on a second. When it was in the show, I, I, I downloaded it. It's called, nope, that's not it. Matchco. Matchco. But this is only for their foundation. The other one that's in the show today is for all kinds of foundations. So this one, you scan a piece of paper and then you hold it up to your face and it, it color matches you and they send you a foundation. But I think it's like $50 for the foundation where the other one, it matches you with drugstore brands. Yeah, Model, Model Co. I think the Model Co is a makeup brand. 
um, Keep It Real Cam says try Glambot for uh, to buy products. Yeah, I've heard good things about that. Skin IQ from Sephora does not work. You know, Genalise, I have had that. Um, Genalise, Genalise, Genalise. I I had that same problem with the color matching at Sephora, where it just didn't seem to work well. I don't know if it was the lighting in the store, if the person didn't do what they were, how they were supposed to do it, but it didn't work for me either. I ended up getting like some weird. I don't know. It didn't work. It didn't work. I did it for like samples and it didn't work. And Pancake says fifty dollars for a foundation hurts my soul. I know. But the thing is, foundation can last you a good while. And if you get one that's really good, I can see the justification for a fifty dollar foundation. I don't know. I can see it. There 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 are a couple of things that I would spend some money on. Foundation is one, lipstick is another one. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. That'd probably be about it. I don't think I'd spend that much for a blush. I don't know. I have, though. I don't know. I can't judge. I can't judge anybody that spends it. I just can't. Um, Stephanie says she'll drop a pretty penny on foundation for sure. Yeah, absolutely. And Diana says the lighting in Sephora is meant to promote products, not color match clients. It's a sales tactic. Oh. Um, Kadra says, Kadra, Kadra says, I did the bomb challenge. Consid uh, consider just the eyeshadows, blush, highlighters, and mascara. It's still expensive, though. I don't know. I don't know. Jennifer says skincare. Take my money. No, skincare. I'm telling you. I know. It's, I know. I did that sponsor video, so people may not believe me. But all I use now is the Polish Choice stuff. I love the Polish Choice stuff, and it's not that expensive. And a lot of times you can search for coupon codes. Like there's videos that they sponsor videos, and then the person has a coupon code, so you search on YouTube for like the most recent Polish Choice video, and then there's a coupon code under them. That's how I'm gonna buy it from now on. So, because I'm definitely re-upping after I run out of the stuff they sent me. Catherine says, Jen, my birthday's tomorrow. Yay, happy birthday, Catherine. Um, oh, it's 11.02. Well, that makes me sad. I was having a good conversation here. <sighs> I hate it when that happens, when we're having a good conversation and chat ends. Well, unfortunately, it's time to go. But you can continue this conversation over on the Facebook group. We have a fantastic Facebook group. It's just group slash What's Up in Makeup. You do have to ask permission to join. But the mods over there, Yesenia and Tabitha and Catherine, will be over there uh, letting you all in uh, if you want to. Right, Tabitha? Right, Yesenia? <laughs> and I'll be there, too, letting you in if you'd like to join the Facebook group. Facebook group is, again, uh, facebook.com slash What's Up In Makeup. If you want to keep having conversation about makeup, that's a great place to go. Also, the What's Up In Makeup app is still available. Um, it's like an Instagram for really nice people. Uh, you can download, uh, you search for Jen Loves Reviews or What's Up In Makeup, and you download it, and it's like Instagram kind of thing. Uh, we do have some new features coming up very soon for the app, so hopefully we'll be able to jazz it up a little bit. Um, there's some really annoying ads on there right now. I'm trying to get those uh, taken off because they suck. Uh, but the community is still awesome over there. The people over there are still awesome. So you can um, download that as well for um, for Apple products or Android products, both of them. And then what else? What's up at makeup.com? There's a forum over there. Uh, yes. That's pretty much it. Those are the three major places. Yes. So I want to thank you guys so much for being here. Uh, thank you for hanging in there while I get to the window where I can turn off the chat because I'm not sure where it is. There it is. So thank you so much for being here. I appreciate it so much. And I hope you have a wonderful week. And if you have any suggestions for chat for next week, I'd love to hear those down in the comments below. Uh, I'm always kind of thinking on the spot, the seat of my pants of what we're going to chat about. So suggestions are always welcome. And I'll see you guys in the community. Oh, and follow me on Periscope. I'm going to be Periscoping more hopefully next week. And once the kids go to school, lots of Periscoping. Well, it's a fair as good thing. So, all right, my friends. Oh, and I've been on Instagram a lot lately. Instagram, the Insta Snap, Instagram stories have been on there a lot. So, all right, my friends. I will see you guys later. Mad love. Thanks for being here. Bye.